Hi my peeps, TJ Isaacs here. Welcome or welcome back. So today's look is a red glittery smoky eye look. And um, you know, as we are in the Christmas season, I thought I'll get out some Christmas looks for you guys. So this is the first orb mini to come. So if you wanna know how to achieve this look, then just keep on watching. So guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell. Give me a like, a share, and leave me a comment down below. And let's just get on with the video, guys. Come on. Okay, guys, so we are going to start off with a freshly washed face. And we are going to prime our face. Today, I'm going to be using my Milk Hydro Grip primer to just prep my face for foundation so I just took this much and I'm just going to start off in the center of my face and just massage it in all primed and ready for foundation so today I'm trying out a new foundation I'm going to be trying the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation and this is oil free and has SPF 30 and it just looks like this. I'm going to pump two pumps on the back of my hand. So that's one, two, the first one was on to the full pump. So, oh, I didn't tell you what shade I'm in. I I'm using the shade 420 bronze so that's what it is looking like and I'm using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. How are you guys doing? We are in the Christmas season and um, who's excited for Christmas? I'm a little bit excited for Christmas. I think this is my favourite holiday. I love Christmas because all the family gets together, have food and have fun. Yeah, so I'm really excited for Christmas. So just blending that in, make sure you're pressing your foundation into your skin to get the maximum coverage. So that's all gone. Two pumps was just enough to do my whole face. The colour match is absolutely beautiful. It's giving me a demi matte finish. So that's my face done. Now I'm going to pair the foundation with the concealer. So I'm using the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer. This is it, still in the box. And I'm in the shade 303 Medium. And it just looks like this. I'm just gonna let that sit for um, a couple of minutes just before I blend it out. This is to give me a fuller coverage on my concealer. So let's just wait for a couple of minutes and then we'll blend it out. So that's been one for a few minutes now. So we're just gonna blend it out. I'm just still using my foundation brush to blend it out. So I'm just going to start at the edges to blend out the concealer and I'm using tapping motions. You don't want to sweep your concealer because you don't want to disturb the foundation underneath. You just want to press it in and this will give you fuller coverage and it won't move the concealer all over the place. Make sure to get it into the corner of your eyes because that area always gets dark. 
just look up and blend underneath your eyes. I'm dragging it down to the top of my lip. That's all blended in. Now that's all blended in, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade 2. So I'm just going to use that to set everywhere that I highlighted with the concealer. Just pressing it in from outside to in and back out again. So what I did was I set my concealer with the powder and then I took a bit more and packed it on, especially um, around my lips, my top lip, my smile lines and underneath my eyes. I packed it on a bit more to bake with it so that I get a more flawless finish and I don't get any creasing, especially around my smile lines and like my top lip so i'm just going to leave that to bake for a minute and while that is baking i'm just going to set the rest of my face using the same powder but with a fluffy powder brush so i'm just going to not really anything too much on it and just sweep it all over the rest of my face where i didn't set this is just going to help for when i want to put on my bronzer Later. Now for my bronzer, I'm going to be using the Nislin Beach Please Bronzing and Contouring Powder and it looks like this. I'm in the shade High from Hawaii. I think that's what it's called. So it just looks like this. And I'm using my e.l.f. complexion brush just to bronze up my face. Now I'm just going to use a powder brush to dust off the bake and I'm just pushing it into the skin. That's my bronzer done. Now I'm going in with my blush. I'm going to be using a mixture of my NARS Orgasm and my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter. So the reason why I'm mixing it is because I really want to use the Fenty Highlighter. But it's a highlighter but it's a shimmer and it's um, the shade is Ginger Binge and Moscow, Moscow Mule and so this is Moscow Mule and this is Ginger Binge so because it has like a hint of coppery red I'm going to use it as a blush topper rather than a highlighter I'm gonna go in with my Orgasm X blush and highlight palette and I'm going to be using the shade Orgasm X, which is this reddish tone. Very lightly, I'm just gonna blush my face. Use a very light hand because these blushes are very pigmented. So you wanna start off small and then build up as you go. Now I'm going to take Moscow Mule just as a blush topper. I'm 
as you can see, it's given me like a soft sheen. Now I'm going in with Orgasm Highlighter just to give myself a nice glow. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> you always want to go back in with your big fluffy powder brush and just blend everything together so that it all looks very seamless, no harsh lines, all blended in. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, look at that glow. Yes, honey, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, so guys, I've done my eyebrows and I also did one eye off camera just so I kind of had an idea of what I wanted the look to look like. So this is what it's going to look like and I'm going to recreate that on this eye for you guys. So I've already primed my eyes so I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Tammy X Revolution palette and I'm going to be using the shade Spiced Rum which is the red glitter. So getting Spiced Rum on my flat shader brush I'm just going to place that all over my mobile lid. So I'm just packing it on to get the intensity that I want and I'm taking it all the way to my crease, my natural crease. So once that's on, I'm going in with the shade Trini, which is the matte red shade in the palette. I'm just using that shade to blend out the edges of the first shade I put on. So we're just going to go in circular motions and start blending throughout the crease. I'm going to take some more and start building it up all the way to the front of my brow. Now I'm gonna go into the Saharan by Juvia's Place and I'm gonna take Sokoto and I'm just going to add that to my crease. So once that's done, I'm going to use some glitters. I'm using a red and a silver glitter just to add on top of my eyelids. So I started off with the red glitter. This glitters, I got them from Amazon. Just place it, the red one first on my eyelids. Next, I'm taking the silver and I'm just going to do the same. So you just want to keep packing on that glitter until you get 
the opaqueness that you want. Using the Makeup Revolution Gel Eyeliner in black, I am just going to line my waterline. I'm also going to drag it down um, on my lower lash line, just halfway. Going back in with that red from Juvia's Face Soccer Toe, I'm just going to smoke out the bottom lash line. From the same Juvia's Place palette, I'm going to use the shade Iman. It's sort of a duochrome. It looks silver in the pan, but it's kind of like purplish lilac as well, once you place it on the eye. So I'm just going to use that on a pencil brush and just add that to my tear duct area. on my lashes and I just did the bottom lash line now let's just get on with the lips so I'm just using my brown lip liner Using my Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in Unbutton. So you can obviously leave the lips like this, matte, but I'm gonna also top it up with a lip gloss. I'm using my Makeup Revolution Shimmer Balm Lip Gloss in the shade Starlight. Just gonna set my face with my Maria Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Vera. So yes guys, this is the finished look and a nice red smoky eye with some silver added to go with the dress, the jewellery, oh let me put on my So yeah, if you want to feel cute on Christmas day then I'm giving you red glitter Santa Claus kind of look 
with my silver dress and my silver accessories and I'll probably pair this with like a clear shoe or a red shoe <laughs> or a silver shoe so those are some options for you my dress um, Oh, I can't remember where I got it from. I've had it for a while now. It's a nice midi split dress. And, um, you know, if you want to look sexy for Christmas Day, then this is an option. Or, you know, if you're going out with your boo, New Year's Day, rock it. <laughs> you can rock it as well. So this is the end of the video. Um, thanks for coming to spend some time with me today and i hope you learned something new i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to hit that subscribe button give me a like and share and also leave me a comment down below so thank you very much again and i'll see you in my next one Bye bye